Gentlemen. You stay close, I go see. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Good evening. Hello. You'd like to buy me a drink? By all means. My name is Simone. Mine is uh, Marcel. Marcel Eonet. You've not been here before, no? To my regret. What will you have? Champagne? Perrier Jouet, 1887. Uh, yes. <laughs> you must be very rich, no? Uh, Chateaubriand said the state rests upon the acquiescence of the poor. <laughs> that settles that. You're certainly no detective, are you? Were you expecting one? <laughs> well, when one runs an establishment such as this, one has to be very careful. I can imagine. <laughs> what do you mean? Only that detectives are like everyone else, always trying to take advantage of a poor, vulnerable girl. It's the truth, isn't it? I have no idea what I go through here. Smoke? No, no, thank you. You mind if I do? Oh. Does it shock you? Not at all. But uh, isn't it bad for the lungs? What do you think? In my profession, I never give an opinion without examining the evidence. What is your profession? Wine taster. Bordeaux? No, Limoges. Limoges? Now, don't, don't make a face. Everyone can't be born in Paris. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> now, you couldn't very well afford not to like your customer. No, that's true. I'm a businesswoman, but not at this moment. Well, then maybe you do me a favor. I just became a businesswoman again. Oh, th this is a, a business favor. I was told I might see the can-can here, the real can-can. Is that true? If not, I'll try somewhere else. You see, I have only this one night in Paris. You'll see it. Oh, I don't believe you. You don't believe me? Why not you don't believe me? You couldn't get away with it. This place doesn't make enough money to bribe all the policemen in Paris. <laughs> foolish man, foolish man. It doesn't take money. Really? No, of course not. The district chief is mad for Helene. She's one of my girls. <laughs> you want the brigadier? You'll find him around Jean Vier's little finger. True, sometimes we must pay money, but more often than not, kiss, little wine. It's that simple. Simple? It takes much organization to find out who wants which from whom and who wants who. Then as soon as I get my list completed, some stinker goes and switches the whole brigade to another precinct. Uh, I'm from Limoges. <laughs> so? A list of what it takes to bribe every gendarme in the district. <laughs> no one could have such a list. I'm from Limoges, but that doesn't make me a tourist. <laughs> you sound like you'd like to make a little wager. A thousand francs. A thousand francs? Perfectly all right. I'll take you up. Perfect. <laughs>
do this every night? No, 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 no. We're closed on Sundays. <laughs> but what are you doing in Montmartre? You're good enough for Les Ambassadeurs or Maxime. You've been to those places? No, no. <laughs> About these thousand francs. Now. Hmm? Yes. Still want to make a little bet? Show me the list and it's yours. Oh, for a thousand francs, I'd show you anything. <laughs> well, almost anything. Forgive me, I... I don't know why I did that. You couldn't help it, could you? When love comes in and takes you for a spin, ooh, la, 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 say magnifique. Uh, no, no, please, not again. When every night your loved one holds you tight, Ooh, la, 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 c'est magnifique. Why must I be bombarded by this song? But when one day your loved one drifts away, ooh, la, la, la. C'est magnifique? No, it is so tragique. But when once more you whispering, je t'adore, c'est magnifique. You still want to arrest me? I never did, and now less than ever. What would you like to do with me? I haven't decided. <laughs> I think you have. Perhaps you're right. Francois. You have my undivided attention. You know, I'm um, growing fonder and fonder of you every day. Mm, that's nice. Tell me something. You thinking about the same thing I am? I was thinking about marriage. went down the wrong way. Oh, it always goes down the wrong way. <coughs> Will you please tell me why? I'll tell you why. Because I'd much rather be in love with you than to marry you. Uh, couldn't we arrange to do both? No, sweetheart, we can't, if you want to be realistic about it. Look, in my opinion, the biggest reason in the world today for infidelity is marriage. Now, eliminate marriage, and you'll never see any such thing as an unfaithful husband. Oh, I... Oh, cut off your legs so you'll never have flat feet. Go ahead and be funny if you like, but I thought you wanted to discuss this seriously. I do want to discuss this seriously, but eliminate marriage? We can't discuss it seriously, then. Well, why don't you let me finish? I'm the lawyer, right? Yes. Now, I see the seamy side of marriage. You know, about the point where it's beginning to break up. And in each case, the history's exactly the same. After about a year's time, the man discovers another girl. Now... He can't spend much time with this new puff because he'd have to lie to his wife. So what does he do? He lies. And then he feels guilty. And he doesn't want to see his wife anymore because he doesn't like feeling guilty. So the result is that here are two people who are once in love with each other. They are now separated, unhappy, and miserable. And why? Because they were stupid enough to get married in the first place. That's beyond me. I guess I never really thought of that. It's the only way to think about it, darling. Direct, straight from the shoulder. Oh, you monster! Honestly, the way you twist everything around just to get your own way? Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Not to me. Of course it does, sweetheart. Look, why should we get married and lose each other? Let's just be in love. It's more fun that way. Everybody does it. Why, even in France, the best upper sets do it. Lithuanians and let's do it. Let's do it, let's fall in love. Oh, I've heard that before. In old Japan, all the Japs do it. Up in Lapland, little Laps do it. Let's do it, 
Let's fall in love. I know. The Dutch in old Amsterdam do it. Not to mention the Finns. Folks in Siam do it. Think of Siamese twins. In shallow shoals, English souls do it. Goldfish in the privacy of bowls do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. The chimpanzees in the zoos do it. Some courageous kangaroos do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. Bye. Giraffes on the sly do it. Even eagles as they fly do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. Electric eels, I might add, do it. Though it shocks them, I know. And why ask if Shad do it? Garçon, the Shad Row. The world admits bears in pits do it. Even pickaneezes at the Ritz do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. And they considered it fun. Marie Antoinette did it. With or without Napoleon. Parliament pleasure vent did it. Mamsels every time they're short of rent did it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. Last 